Freescale Semiconductor, Incorporated is an American multinational corporation headquartered in Austin, Texas with design, research and development, manufacturing and sales operations in more than 75 locations in 19 countries. The company employs 17,000 people worldwide. Freescale designs and produces embedded hardware and software for the automotive, networking, industrial and consumer markets with a current emphasis on technology enablement of the Internet of Things, software-defined networking and advanced driver assistance systems. Freescalia Euro unregistered trademark S product portfolio includes microcontrollers, microprocessors, digital signal processors, digital signal controllers, sensors, RF power integrated circuits and power management ICs. The company also offers software development tools to support product design and development. Freescalia Euro unregistered trademark S current patent portfolio includes approximately 6,100 patent families. Freescale currently ranks 8th among semiconductor companies in the United States and is ranked 16th worldwide, as measured by total revenue. 17 billion Freescale semiconductor products are in use around the world today, enabling applications such as vehicle networking and information, vehicle radar and vision systems, networking security appliances, network routers and switches, hospital and in-home healthcare devices, smart energy, factory automation, e-readers and wearable devices. History Freescale was one of the first semiconductor companies in the world, having started as a division of Motorola in Phoenix, Arizona in 1948 and then becoming autonomous by the divestiture of the semiconductor product sector of Motorola in 2004. In 1955, a Motorola transistor for car radios was the world Euro unregistered trademark S first commercial high power transistor. It was also Motorola Euro unregistered trademark S first mass produced semiconductor device. In the 1960s, one of the U.S. space program's goals was to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth. In 1968, NASA began manned Apollo flights that led to the first lunar landing in July 1969. Apollo 11 was particularly significant for hundreds of employees involved in designing, testing and producing its electronics. A division of Motorola, which became Freescale Semiconductor, supplied thousands of semiconductor devices, ground-based tracking and checkout equipment, and 12 onboard tracking and communications units. An updater link in the Apollo's command module received signals from Earth to relay to other onboard systems. A transponder received and transmitted voice and television signals and scientific data. Also that year, Motorola Euro unregistered trademark S technologies were used to introduce the first two-way mobile radio with a fully transistorized power supply and receiver for cars. Motorola has continued its growth in the networking and communication sector in later years providing the tools behind the radio transponder that delivered the first words from the moon in 1969, and going on to develop the first prototype of the first analog mobile phone in 1973. The Campania Euro unregistered trademark S first microprocessor was introduced in 1974, and was used in automotive, computing and video game applications. Motorola Euro unregistered trademark S next generation 32-bit microprocessor, the MC68000, led the wave of technologies that spurred the computing revolution in 1984, powering devices from companies such as Apple, Commodore, Atari, Sun, and Hewlett-Packard. In the 1990s, Motorola Euro unregistered trademark S technology was the driving force behind intelligent power switches for anti-lock brake systems, one of the first microelectromechanical systems inertial sensor for automotive airbags and Motorola Euro unregistered trademark SMPC5200 microprocessor deployed telematic systems for General Motors a Euro unregistered trademark on Star Systems. Since then, Freescale has continued to provide the technology behind consumer, medical, networking and automotive products from microprocessors for the world a Euro unregistered trademark S first tubing free wireless insulin pump, to and automotive microcontrollers for efficient engine design. Freescalia Euro unregistered trademark S motion sensing accelerometer powers the interactivity of the Guitar Hero video games. 
the number one provider of e-reader processors worldwide is Freescale. In 2011, the company launched the Endosia Euro unregistered trademark S first multimode wireless base station processor family that scales from small to large cells a Euro integrating DSP and communications processor technologies to realize a true base station on chip. In addition, a recent ABI research market study report states that Freescale owns 60% share of the radio frequency semiconductor device market. Also in 2011, Freescale announced the company's first magnetometer for location tracking in smart mobile devices. With the partnership of McLaren Electronic Systems, they helped the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series vehicles convert from carburetors to fuel injection starting in 2012. On March 8, 2014, Freescale announced that 20 of its employees were passengers aboard Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. That plane, carrying the Freescale employees, is currently missing. Kinetis, on February 26, 2013, Freescale Semiconductor announced the creation of the world a Euro unregistered trademark S smallest arm power chip. The Kinetis KLO2 measures 1.9 by 2 mm and is a full microcontroller unit, meaning the chip sports a processor, RAM, ROM, clock and I.O. control unit. The chip competes with the Atmel MO Plus offerings which are the low-power leaders in the industry one application that Freescale says the chips could be used for as swallowable computers. Freescale already works with a variety of health and wellness customers. Both the Fitbit and Omnipod insulin pump use Freescale chips. The new chip was on display at Embedded World in Nuremberg, Germany, from February 26 to Euro 28, 2013. Products, in August 2014, Freescale Semiconductor introduced a range of fully programmable wireless charging chip and reference designs for consumer and automotive applications. The new chipset is certified to work with both the Wireless Power Consortium's key wireless standard and the Power Matters Alliance's charging specifications. Financials, Motorola announced that their semiconductor division would be divested on October 6, 2003 to create Freescale. Freescale completed its IPO on July 16, 2004. On September 15, 2006, Freescale agreed to a $17.6 billion buyout by a consortium led by Blackstone Group and its co-investors, Carlyle Group, TPG Capital, and Pamira. The buyout offer was accepted on November 13, 2006 following a vote by company shareholders. The purchase which closed on December 1, 2006, was the largest private buyout of a technology company until the Dell buyout of 2013 and is one of the ten largest buyouts of all time. Freescale filed to go public on February 11, 2011 and completed its IPO on May 26, 2011. Freescale is traded on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol FSL. At the time of the IPO, the company had $7.6 billion in outstanding debt on its books, and the company is being investigated for misconduct related to this IPO. Litigations, Freescale is being sued by Marvel Semiconductor for infringing seven patents held by Marvel. The case is being litigated in the U.S. District Court for the West District of Texas. Freescale recently lost a patent infringement lawsuit filed by Tessera Corporation and was forced to pay an undisclosed amount as part of the settlement. Freescale is also being sued by Vantage Point Technology, Inc. for patent infringement in Texas Eastern District. Freescale has also been served by Computer Sciences Corporation. This is a breach of contract case and it is being litigated in the Texas Western District under Sam Sparks. Competitors. Freescale competes with a host of other silicon vendors, including Qualcomm, Texas Instruments, Intel, AMD, Toshiba, St. Microelectronics, Infineon, and EC Corporation, NVIDIA, NXP Semiconductors, Renesas, Via Technologies, and Samsung Electronics. Zoombug, clock driver software written by Freescale was responsible for the 2008 Zoom Leap Year bug. See also List of Freescale products, ON Semiconductor, another Motorola Semiconductor spin-off, List of Semiconductor Fabrication Plants, Notes External links, Corporate Website